Whenever I put a Mac computer to the test and it struggles in the slightest, the little Mac dweebs will jump out, you did something wrong, my computer would never struggle. So last time I wanted to see if the MacBook Air could handle my video editing with just a little film grain. Give me some dignity here. Give me something filmic here. And it struggled, it couldn't play back and it was wanting like an hour and a half to render the file, so it struggled and you said, it's because you're in DaVinci. If you would have went with the native app, Final Cut Pro, it's optimized. So you wouldn't believe the optimization that went into the, the melding. It's like one thing, the computer and the program, it's, you can't separate it. They were born twins. Let's test it then, asshole. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So I don't even aim to find deal-breaking flaws, they just find me. I just go about my day doing things and then I notice, oh my God, why doesn't that work? So I just got Final Cut Pro, we're in the trial. I've learned it, I've watched a bunch of tutorials and for the most part, I like it. I think the screen real estate is better optimized. I can set it up pretty much like DaVinci. I was worried, but a lot of just cut and paste, save the presets and boom, you're good to go. I like it. However, first deal breaking flaw, you can't play Nikon raw files. There's no option to do it. You can play the new red ones from the ZR and no, you cannot change the name of my Nikon Z63 files to red. It won't recognize them and it might never happen. So like if I got the ZR, I could film in red raw, okay. Okay, but I could never do a NRAW versus RED comparison. Let's see if Final Cut is smoother than DaVinci. I filmed a bunch of test clips in the hardest to edit camera there is. Canon R5 II, we're on it right now, 24mm 1.4. We did a bunch of 8K 60 and 4K 120 and some side-by-sides and added film grain in DaVinci versus Final Cut. Let us witness the results. 8K 60 RAW from Canon. It's slowed down, it's color graded just normally. We're in DaVinci. We're paying attention to the CPU number here. Looks good. And the GPU, I do believe it just, that's using basically two cores and 10% of another core. And on the GPU, <laughs> God, I suck at this, 17%. So like we're plenty good, like 24 frames per second playback. Everything is smooth and wonderful. Now we're gonna switch on over to 4K 120p. Is it any harder? It seems that it is slightly harder for the GPU, but barely even breaking a sweat. We're less than 18% performance needed for this. Two 8K 60 raw files. If you need to do more than this, you're insane. But here we are, and the M4 Max playing it fine. Everything is smooth. There, it jumped up 22% now of the GPU. CPUs now at using three cores, almost four. That's fine. Now it jumped right back down the CPU for the 4K 120. Now you see this. I added film grain, like heavy film grain, and it's still okay. It's still doing okay. 55%, that's not bad. That's pretty good. Still getting smooth playback here. So like this little laptop, it's good in DaVinci. Okay, now we're rendering the file. And so far the fans have not turned on. While I was playing all those files, fans on the laptop, silent. I think I can hear them starting to try. They're coming on, they're coming on, but barely. It's pretty silent so far, but this is looking okay. It's trying harder now, a little bit. And how's the memory? I noticed that it doesn't seem to ever go above 30 grams. That's not how you say that. Oh God, I should have cut that segment out. But we're starting to hear a bit of fan noise. Let me get you in on this action. It's definitely noticeably loud, but it doesn't seem to ever turn on during playback. Wow, that's getting loud. So that took one minute and 46 seconds to render in DaVinci, fans are still blowing. And let's try this exact scenario in Final Cut Pro. 
Okay, now we're in Final Cut Pro. It has not been an easy adjustment, but we're making it work. We have some color grading similar. I tell you, the fan has already kicked in. It was never kicking in playing back anything in DaVinci, but now that I'm in the native Final Cut Pro, it's angry at me. So like, already 56% GPU just playing the regular for AK60. So my God, what's gonna happen as we get a little harder? 60%, now we're in 4K 120. Nothing seems to be getting too much harder. Fans calming down a bit. We're relaxing. 70, oh God, that's not relaxed. 76%, I have a feeling something terrible is gonna happen. As soon as it gets here, I'm scared. 8K60 raw, double filed. Oh my goodness, right now. 74%, we seem to be okay. Everything's okay, I feel like it's gonna jump in. Yeah, it's jumping. No, it shrunk. I can't see. I have old man eyes, that's fine. Oh god, I forgot to add the film grain part. You're supposed to add that. That was a real important part of the test here. See if I can even do it. Okay, I can already tell the fan is angry just trying to do it. Just doing the title of it was making this thing cry. So let's see, 1% GPU, that seems inaccurate. All right, I'll wait. I'll wait for you to stop lying to me. But you're obviously lying. You're The fan's so loud I can hardly hear myself breathe right now, but okay, sure. So it says 55%. See, like the numbers in here seem better, if anything, than Da Vinci, but the fan disagrees, and you suck. But this does look amazing with the film grain, I must say. Curious how the memory's doing in here. Using less memory. I don't know, man. I, I think Final Cut sucks. From what I'm seeing, it just gets angry. Okay, now we're gonna render this file and see if it's any quicker, but I'm just noticing the fan noise is insane, so I've Come in here, I've already done all this stuff. The best H265 10 bit, you wouldn't believe the quality of it. No 8K allowed, by the way, even though there was an 8K thing in here. That makes me wonder if I film in HD, usually in DaVinci, I export in 4K so YouTube doesn't crush it. Can I not do that in Final Cut? Just one of your many flaws. Oh, the hundreds of flaws. So we're clicking next. Desktop, sounds good, save it. Now what I didn't know, I was like, where is it? Where's my file? Why is nothing happening? You have to click up here. Oh, Max, you make things so difficult. Why do you do this? So let's see how long that takes. Will you even tell me? Unlikely, but I'm timing it myself. Oh God, that's not what we're supposed to be looking at in here. It's this thing. God, I suck at this. Okay, what's happening? GPU 0%, okay, 47, no fans yet. That's nice. So now you don't need fans. But what I noticed, it was this thing, this decoder, the service that I didn't ask for, that's what I think is making the fan go crazy, just playing back the file. So all the Mac sheep who told me that Final Cut Pro is why you're struggling, you should have used that. It's Apple software, they know what they're doing, you don't. Looks like you're never right. Now, I wasn't paying attention, but when I was rendering with DaVinci, was this thing coming up? Because it's also taken just as much as Final Cut, so that's a little scary. Fans are kicking on now. And how long did this take in the end? Nobody knows. Thanks for nothing. Thanks for playing that automatically as well. I really am happy about that. I needed that. Why are you always wrong, Max Sheeple? Are you ever right? You ever tried an exam? and you notice that you get 20% right and you failed, then you go home and ask your mother for the sandwich and she doesn't give it to you, she just eats it in front of you, that's your life. And I don't need to listen to you for life advice because you obviously have everything wrong. Final Cut Pro is worse than DaVinci, at least in those files. I don't know if it's Canon RAW, because I had to download a Canon RAW codec thing so maybe that's like also running in the background, like decoding it as I'm playing it. But it was like, I never hear the fans in DaVinci and then all of a sudden I'm hearing all these fans kick on and they're loud, aggressive fans. So that dream died in my arms. 
just switching to Mac and using only native apps and everything was gonna be fantastic. So uh, not so much. Let me just show you my setup because I'm trying to devise a way to have a laptop and an external screen and I'm debating, can I just use this tiny laptop for nothing? Get rid of the screen and minimalize my desk. So this is my basic setup here. We have the MacBook M4 Max here on a little stand. Some things are plugged in. We got this dongle thing over here. I'm not fully set up, still have the PC over here, but we have a dual monitor action. You know what I'm loving about Max? Just the little swipe. Huh. I got different desktops set up here. So like we're doing this, boom, editing all. Oh, what was that? How the hell do you render a file in Final Cut Pro? Search for that. Did camera noob upload a video about that? No, she didn't, damn it. So we're swiping. Okay, we're back to editing. Oh, where's my files? Over on this one. I'm liking that. And then you dig, say you have these files. Oh, you just drag those, swipe them over here. Trackpad fun, is it not? But I was debating like, get rid of this monitor. Just have this. The screen real estate, it's painful at times on the 14 inch, you're just, I don't know, a lot of, even websites, it's kind of like, wow, I really have to scroll down no matter what's happening. It's, there's not a lot on here. So once I set up the dual system, I was like, okay, that is a lot better. But part of me just wants to be minimalist, but it's really not minimalist. It's taking up way more space, like this giant stand and all these cords, like Medusa's hair, snakes everywhere. And I don't know, even if I got rid of this, this would be here. Would that benefit our lives? Like, okay, you have your keyboard there. Oh God, oh God. So say that was your life. Speakers on both sides. And this wasn't here. I don't know that I saved any space, but this will be gone. Can you even see it? Oh God, the dramatic, that could have been so dramatic. The giant size of this, that would be gone. And then other things, fun things on this table here. And I was debating no keyboard whatsoever. And then I'm just like, pretend that's not there. And then I'm like, can I do that? Can I just elbows right on the wood? It's not very comfortable, but I'll tell you, you know what did happen? I rendered both those files in DaVinci and Final Cut and no crashes whatsoever. My computer would have crashed, this little beast. I don't know what's your problem sometimes. You just crash hard. You're more capable in the GPU arena but you crash. So it's like, oh, this could render it twice as fast, except for the eight times it took me to render it. So it's actually four times longer than the Mac. I don't like it. When I lived in Thailand for a year and a half, I basically only had a 15 inch screen and it was fine. And when I got home and got the 27 inch, I was like, yeah, that's nice. It is nice, but you can get by if you just commit to it, you could, but I don't know. I think I'm going to get a mechanical keyboard with an actual Mac thing and fully commit to the command and everything the way Macs work. Dive in and say goodbye to Windows forever. <laughs> uh, so I'm quite happy with the performance so far and Mac life, I'm just committing to it and dealing with the mouse scrolling never being right at all, one decimal at a time. It's like, okay, whatever. Yeah, I remember that. And the mouse is a little weird. It's, it seems better on the Mac. It's not like, oh my God, what's happening? But when I drag things, it still kind of jumps sometimes, but whatever, we're committing to that and Mac life is fun. It's just, I'm, I need to organize the desk to where I'm like, yeah, man, that is the stuff. I need an L desk. I need a bigger desk is what I need, but really those are first world problems and Mac does well, but not according to you with your stupid advice saying, oh, Final Cut Pro, it's better. It's actually worse as we saw today. And by the way, yes, I edited this video entirely in Final Cut Pro, my first and last video ever to be in there. And if you've wondered why the weird effects have been, cause I'm having fun and shut your mouth. So those are all the effects that Final Cut Pro has, and we've been having a blast. I have been. You've just been confused because I didn't mention that in the beginning, so sorry about that. And Final Cut, you suck. Hopefully Logic Pro is better, and no thank you to you. I'll be sticking with DaVinci, and it hurts 
because the, you keep changing things and I hate your life, but whatever, it's better than Final Cut Pro as we've seen things running in the background. So thank you for your Bitcoin donations. What did I do wrong this time? Oh, if you would have had this setting. Oh my God, he didn't even have that. You shut your mouth. Shut your donkey hole right now. Subscribe for my interesting.